Hey guys, Brad here. And today we're gonna to be looking at Milwaukee's tool chest. This thing is massive. I got my hands on one and uh, let's uh, take a look at and see what it's all about. For starters, we're looking at some nine inch wheels. So it's really great for going over all kinds of ground. You got snow, mud, gravel, upstairs, downstairs. This thing will handle it, I think. Um, so far, just looking at it, I'm pretty impressed. Got a nice big handle on the back here. Because so I think if you were to load this up, because they do say you can fill this up with about 250 pounds worth of gear. So that much weight, you want to be lifting it up on both sides. Now, when we open it up, you got big latches on the front. Boom, there we go. Make sure you guys subscribe. Hit that notify bell and give me a thumbs up if you like the video so far. But looking at the interior of this, they give you a tray which can mount in two locations. You can't put it in the middle here, so it's just on either end. And it's pretty deep. Let's take a look and see how deep this thing is. We're looking at just shy of 12 inches. Uh, 12 inches in the middle and then there's a bit of space up in here so the thing I like about it is if you have say a bunch of cases you could store them all in here and it will easily close so if you're a kind of person who just likes to keep your tools in their cases then I think this tool chest is pretty awesome because then you can store them all in here and take them to your site now, I tend to take everything out of the cases and throw them out. Um, I just happen to have this one. I haven't thrown this out yet. <laughs> but I'm thinking I might put some dividers in here because they do give you these slots. And it looks like I could fit probably half inch material in here. I'll have to take a closer look. Maybe three eighths. And you can kind of create some dividers and that will allow you to sort of store some tools. So I might just use this for my main tool chest that I bring onto site when I'm you know, doing renos or building decks or whatever I'm, I'm doing. So I haven't quite figured out what I'm gonna use this for, but I'm pretty stoked that I have one. Now, the lid stays up with this rod here, which is a pretty cool invention. You just got a little button, you press this, it releases the rod and allows you to close the lid. You can also lock this lid in two locations and you've got the ability to store more pack outs on top. So let's take a look at that. Um, we'll just throw one on here. Now if you notice, these pack outs can only go in one direction. So I have heard some complaints online about you know the ability to do this only in one direction why don't they face outwards um, or forwards or backwards i think a big reason is when you lift this up all the weight is going towards the bottom so naturally you know if you had this flipped around the other way and it was clipped this way and you're carrying it essentially upside down then you've got all that pressure on these tabs so as much as I'd like to be able to, you know, open my cases sort of towards the middle, I think that Milwaukee probably didn't have a choice when they were testing this out. It's just my opinion, but you know, you can still open these up like this and still access your tools if you need. So it's not, it's not bad. And you can still get into these cases no problem with the space in between. So I kind of like it. Now I'm gonna throw this on the ground, load it up, and kind of wheel it around for you. Pull all this down like so. That's a lot of pack outs you have over there. I have a lot of pack outs for a guy who doesn't have very much Milwaukee. I mostly have the pack out system. This is what do you mean? This is just a small selection of stuff. 
Uh, just some fuel, you know, I love the multi-tool right there. So good. But we're focusing on on the uh, packout system here, Tiffany. Stop getting distracted by all the toolness that I've got. Because I know you love all my tools. So I'll show you the handle on this too, guys. Drop this down. And let's chuck some boxes on here. So I'll do this guy. And then let's chuck maybe one of these bigger ones just to see how it looks. Maybe we'll do one of these. And one of these guys. And this one. That looks pretty good, eh? All right, let's stand this up. It's all latched. Good to go. So, pretty sweet. So it's got this handle on it. Now I'm just gonna tip all this. Hopefully it doesn't fall over. See, it's a little heavy, so it's wanting to tip that way. So keep that in mind. You can't necessarily stand this up if you've got all the weight over here. Now the handle, We'll slide in. It stays up sort of if you kind of lean it forward, but it's, it wants to go down, just so you know. So, there we go. There's some rolling action. Very easy to move around. I think this is awesome, especially if you're in commercial and you're going in and you know, you're taking elevators or you gotta walk a mile. Something like this is sweet because you can just bring in all your gear. I'm typically using the regular cart, this guy, which I love and I'm always gonna use, but the chest is basically like double the size of this and it just allows you to get more in there. So. I don't know. I, uh, I think for commercial, this is a really sweet setup. You know, even if you're like an electrician, you could put all your wire in there. Um, if you're HVAC, plumber, it just gives you the ability to carry maybe bigger items that you might have to carry as opposed to putting into a, a storage system like this. So big kudos to uh, Milwaukee for designing this. I think it's great. I really do like it. And then, you know, getting these out, like I said, I can still get my hand in here to pull all this out. So no problem. And yeah, there we go. And it will stand up on its own if it's not loaded up on the front. So you could put it in a trailer, you know, I think I'll do another video eventually once I figure out what tools I'm gonna put in here, how I'm gonna utilize those sort of divider areas. And if any of you guys have any comments or ideas as to what I should do with this or how I should organize the interior, or if you've seen anybody with a cool setup on the interior of this, I'd love to know about it. But uh, I think, you know, you could do some crosses. You could, you could put trays in here. You could even put in, you know, a whole bunch of organizers like this if you wanted. This is what I use for decking. This is my Cortex box. So, you know, so many options, right? And that's what I love about Milwaukee. It's the fact that you just have so many options with their packout system. And uh, there we go. All right, guys, so please leave some comments down below. Love to hear from you. What do you think of this unit? As always, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up if you liked the uh, video. Till next time, keep on crushing it. We'll catch you later.